start the video tutorial okay here i'll be showing you how to configure wds okay on windows server 2012 that is windows deployment services all right so firstly you need to make sure you have a domain controller okay and then needing two rows okay which is wds and a dht dhcp row okay so before we do that we need to check our ip configuration okay let's see that first okay so ip configuration okay it's properly configured all right now have to go to the server manager all right and then we'll go for add roles and features all right next yeah we're installing the server so we'll go for role base next yeah yeah next all right no problem this server we already have a domain controller configured so we have ads and dns already installed okay so now we need the DHCP all right so we're going to add that additional feature and we'll still need the WDS which is this so we're going to check on that as well and go for add features we'll go for next Alright, so here we need to check both of them. We have deployment service and custom server. Go for next and go for install. Alright, this installation starts right now. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video. Alright, and I'll be back shortly. Okay, guys, it's done. So, uh, close that. give it a description I'm gonna give the description good next all right it's hyping the range of IP address you want so I'm gonna use this range of IP addresses I'm probably gonna start from 10 okay so from the end I'm gonna end 40. All right, let's go for next. All right, and then here we have uh, exclusions. We're not gonna create exclusions here. I don't need it. Okay, probably if you need um some IP address out of the range you're giving up. Okay, so we'll definitely give you an exclusion here, but I don't want to give an exclusion. Go for next. 
and uh, this duration, least duration is 8 days okay so they, they will come back all right the pcs will come back to refresh your ip address within 8 days go for next okay and then what's for our options yes go for now to configure options now next options i don't have a gateway so i'm not going to configure the gateway all right so here my dns server so ip address is already in set yes i'm going to go for next if you are over the other DNS servers, you can add them here. Okay, go to next. Domain server, I'm not using this. Alright, do I want to activate the scope now? Go for next. next, yes, I want to activate and go for next. Alright, go for finish. You can see here now we have a, a scope created. This is the pool of addresses. Okay, no list addresses here. Alright, so we've been configuring our DHCP. Alright, that's all for now. So we're gonna move on to the WDS console. Close that. So go to the WDS console. Alright, so that opens up. Alright, here we have our WDS server. Alright. As good as possible. And then we're gonna be um deploying the Windows 8. Okay, on the network so we need to configure windows 8 in the bds server so we're gonna do that right click on the pc you want to go for configure server all right so we'll start with configuration go for next oh yeah you said you want to integrate it act directly yes i want to go for next okay and then here this is the path to the remote installation folder okay on your network you can change this but recommend that to leave it okay the way it is okay go for next and then here okay you just go for yes i want to continue all right and then here we have uh, windows deployment service configuration with a deleted microsoft dhcp service one minute server this is actually detected okay so basically we need it so we have to make sure make sure you check both of them and go for next all right and then here you see select one of the following options for the pixie boot all right so do not respond to any client computers respond only to known client computers okay and then we have respond to all client computers okay because this is a practical purpose we will for respond to all client computers all right and then we'll go for next when you check on this button let me you as the administrator need to approve the system for its installation so i will check on that i'll go for next all right and then uh the configuration starts it won't take long so let me show them again all right right so we'll finish all right here yeah, now we have uh the bds configured but we're not done we have all all the install images and the boot images. All right. Now, here we start to click on the install images. Go for add image. Okay. Basically, you can add image group. Okay. Just to specify the group of. That's if you have a lot of operating system you want to be installing in your network. Okay. So you can add a group and name it. We're gonna give various images. So basically, we are just installing one here. So go for add image. Alright, and then you can name it. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna give it um, Windows. Alright, and then go for next. And then here now, where I'm gonna get the file. Now it says the default boot and install images are uh, called what? Boot Wim and install Wim. Note that because these are the kind of these are the files that I'll be looking for. So for the install, we're gonna look for the what install or win. So you need to make sure you know, that that your Windows 8 installation disk is inserted, or you have the image, okay, on your system. So we're gonna browse for the file. Browse the install or win file. It's probably in the installation media. So we're gonna open that, and then you go for sources. All right, and then you see here we have install or win. Okay, and then you go for OK. All right, after selection, it should go for next. Okay, so now here I have my 
um, various additions that comes with my um, CD. So just want to install um, Windows 8 Professional. So I'm going to select just the Professional. I don't want to add all those images there. Okay. So if it's needed in your organization, make sure you add it. I'm going to need this. Okay. And go for, I'll go for next. All right. And uh, yeah, I'll go for next. All right. So it's just start adding the image there. All right. Take a little while, so I'm just gonna basically pause the video now and then I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, guys, after a long wait, okay, so we are here. So I'm gonna click on finish, okay. And when I go for my images, okay, I have my group called Windows, all right, in there I have the edition. Alright, so now we also need the boot images. We're gonna right click on it and go for add boot images in the same location. You're gonna find the boot file. Okay, so automatically it takes, took me there, it took me there because I just left there. Alright, so boot.wim open. Alright, you go for nest. Okay, so basically you just go for nest, you leave the default names there. If you need to change it, you can change it. Go for nest. Alright, nest. Um that's adding the boot image. It's also going to take a little while. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm back. Alright guys, so it's done. Alright, go to finish. Okay. Now, been having that, uh, basically that's all we need now. That's all we need. That's all we need. So what, what we need now is just close. Now doing that, this piece here will go from the network. So now it's trying to get a DHCP uh, IP address. Okay, so it's contacting that shortly. Alright, so it's trying to get the IP address from the DHCP server. Okay, so hopefully it gets it. Uh, Oh, okay, guys. It's saying um, RPG Sim not found, but got the IP address. All right. So now what happens is um, just basically gonna go back to your your WDS server. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay. Probably the mistake we did was we didn't start we didn't start a server. Okay. As you can see, there's like a little icon down here. So we're gonna right click on the DC one. Go for all tasks and go for start. Alright, we didn't start a service, that's why we're having the issue of no operating system found. Okay, so make sure you don't make a mistake. Well, if you're doing that, I'll go for OK. Alright, so refresh. Alright, now you can see we have it um, in the green sign. So go back to close this, okay, and go back to our client PC or our other PC we are installing. Alright, back here. Okay, just gonna control or delete okay to try loading the operating system again as right, so probably this time you should get a respond okay so it's loading that shouldn't take this long shouldn't change this long at all Alright, so you see it's first with 12. Alright, so now it's connecting to the server, which is our uh, WDS server. Alright, now it's loading up, which is from there. Okay, so that is just basically how you configure your most done. Okay, so 
need to load the files. Okay, for the installation. Now take no we're not using any CD, we're not using anything. We are using it or we're installing it through the network. Alright, so with this you can install multiple pieces without using it. And the dicks moving around and wasting time on this PC. Alright. Just boot from the network and they will start. Okay, so our installation is starting up. Okay. You can see that. Okay, here yeah, I select my language and my my language. Okay, and the keyboard input. Next, okay, and now need this. We need to provide the administrative privilege for that. So I'll type in my credentials. Alright, so you have it. Now you can see I can select um, multiples, okay, any of the operations I want to install. Well, as you can see, I have Pro, I have Enterprise, and all that. So I'm going to install the. I'm going to install the. This one, okay, and then go from next. Alright, and then I'll select my C. I can find uh, my Addix actually. Okay, and our installation begins. Okay, it's as simple as that. So now I change between for server. Alright, try and copy your files. Alright, now it's getting it and then it starts installation. It's as simple as that. Alright, so alright, so it's gonna start installation now, so when it gets back, alright, I'll get to you. Okay guys, after a long um Installation, okay. Period. All right. Here, yeah, finally, we got here. So we'll go for a couple of restarts. Go for accept. Okay. Go for accept. All right. And then now, uh, basically, do your normal installation. So I'm gonna use the normal settings. Okay. And then without Microsoft account. All right. I'm just gonna go for look at account. Then type in. The intent. All right, and then go for finish. All right. So basically, I have my Windows 8 PC installed through by using the WDS server. <sighs> Finalizing your settings. Take a look at the new way Windows looks. Oops, I suck at that. <laughs> Alright, so that's just it, guys. I have my Windows 8. Alright, so please, it's up to you. Subscribe to my channel. Alright, I'm bringing you more um, cool videos and then new, new stuff. Alright, um, thank you. Bye.